how to select the perfect wallpaper. Choosing the right wall covering, and knowing how much to buy, can be tricky. In this video, we'll show you best catalog, to get inspired, and give you some tips to shop with success. Like the video, comment with your favorite design, and subscribe to our channel, to get our next videos and tips. The wall covering you choose, can make a room appear bigger, warmer, and brighter, or vice versa, and even hide in perfect elements. Take a cue from color. Color can set the mood in a room. To make a space appear larger, and the ceiling higher, pick patterns with cool color backgrounds, such as green, blue, or violet. Soft cool colors suggest tranquility, while intense cool colors, are fresh and dramatic. Warm colors, reds, yellows, and oranges, live, up to their name, and actually make people feel warmer. These are a popular choice in colder climates, and also work well in north-facing rooms. The more intense the color, the more excitement it will give to a room. Play with light. In a north-facing room, the hallway, or windowless space, look for wall coverings, that will reflect light around the room, such as patterns with light colors, and those with metallic or iridescent inks. Also consider patterns with smooth surfaces which reflect maximum light. Dark colors absorb light, making walls appear closer, and the room smaller. Texture surfaces, also tend to make our wall look darker. Hide floors with texture. Patterns with real or perceived texture, can hide or camouflage wall imperfections, or architectural eyesores. Patterns with Actual tactile surfaces, include grass and string cloth, burlap, foil, expanded vinyl, and even fabric. Other papers simulate the look of marble, wood, leather, fabric, even animal skins. A pattern with a layered design, also creates a perception of texture, such as a monochromatic damask design behind a floral pattern. Consider how the room is used, and how often, when choosing wallpaper. Patterns. Choose a suitable style. For a formal look, choose large-scale patterns with dramatic colors. For a fun, bright style, pick small motifs, that are open and regularly spaced, such as polka dots. Don't forget the decorative impact of borders. Available in all sorts of motifs and styles, from sport scenes to pastoral views, to wildlife images, borders quickly establish the theme of a room. Accent the positive stripes and other vertical patterns, which emphasize height, suggest dignity, vitality, and formality. Vertical patterns, including florals where the motif's shape suggests a V or a U, will make a ceiling appear higher. Horizontal patterns accent width, suggest quietness and repose, and make narrow rooms appear wider. Scale for success. Small scale patterns create a feel of spaciousness while large-scale designs, make rooms more intimate. To make an empty room look more furnished, pick large-scale patterns with bright colors, and dark backgrounds. To give flat walls the look of depth, try a large, open-dimensional pattern, such as a trellis design. Mix and match wisely. A room without patting can bore, while a room with too many patterns, can cause restlessness. When mixing stripes, 
florals, or plaids in a room, or between adjacent areas, pick patterns that repeat the same color, or values of that color. Wall covering books usually group, designs by color to make coordinating easy. Follow these steps, to determine how many rolls of wall covering, you'll need one. Calculate the wall space to be covered in square feet. Measure a wall, from ceiling to floor. And horizontally from corner to corner. Multiply those two figures. Repeat four remaining walls. Add the totals too. If you're covering a ceiling, calculate the square footage, by multiplying the width of the floor, by the length 3. Divide each figure by 25, the average square footage, in a standard single roll of wallpaper 4. Subtract from the total one half single roll, for each window and door. The resulting figure, is the final number of single rolls needed. Always round fractions, to the next highest whole number. If your wallpaper comes in double rolls, most residential wallpapers do. Divide this figure by two. When a blank expansive wall, leaves you wanting something more, look no further than pretty paper. While the idea of wallpapering, might make you nervous, paper. Selections, have never been better, and the process is so easy. Just follow these steps, to apply beautiful wallpaper in your favorite rooms. Prepping the walls. Wipe down the walls with a sponge and bucket of warm water. Let the wall dry thoroughly, then send away imperfections. Fill in uneven areas with drywall compound using a large putty knife. Let dry for 24 hours then sand it smooth. Wipe the dust off walls, with a damp sponge. Apply primer with a brush or roller to the walls, to help the wallpaper stick. Use the large putty knife as a paint shield, when working a long trim. Let the primer dry for at least two hours before hanging wallpaper. At the end, wish you enjoy this video. Please like the video, and subscribe to Decor channel, to get our updates.